Hi, honey. What's up? Crisis in the lithosphere. Hello, I'm Chad Hudson, and today, crisis in the lithosphere. The lithosphere is located between the Earth's crust and its mantle. It is sustained by the rock cycle. What rock we have on this planet is all we have. Sure, we occasionally get small bits from meteorites, but that is very much a minuscule percentage of what we actually have in total. Three problems affecting the lithosphere are pollution, erosion, and thermal pollution. The first, pollution, is caused by the dumping of hazardous materials into the soil or into streams. As these substances leach down, they create problems with the formation of rocks. Since the beginning of hominids, there has been the belief of an if I can't see it, it is taken care of concept. And that if you dispose of something, like sewage dumping into rivers, it is gone and no longer a problem. Thus, it was thought that simply burying toxic waste would keep it from having any effect on the environment. Some countries even went as far as to use high-pressure injection to force hazardous waste into geological formations. The effects of this are being seen today as the waste has found its way into their drinking water. Pollution is hard on the lithosphere when it finds its way into the ground. It impedes the formation of rocks and toxifies the system. Okay. To represent how pollution is affecting the different layers of the lithosphere, this uh, Jason Sanborn container represents the lithosphere. The soda, baking soda mixture at the bottom represents igneous and the harder rocks. The potting soil represents metamorphic rock. And of course the ground on top is already sedimentary rock. This hot water, vinegar, and food coloring mixture represents a toxic waste spill. Now watch what happens to the bottom layers as it seeps through. Are you zoomed in? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's leached into the bottom soil. And it is fizzing, but not audibly enough here. The second danger is erosion. As more land is used for development, the more ground is disturbed and broken up. This loosens the surrounding rock, which leads to its falling away from erosion. Since the ground is already loose, water can then eat away at it and carry it away. Since this sedimentary rock does not have a chance to become metamorphic, it takes away from the whole rock cycle. The third problem for the lithosphere is thermal pollution. The Earth is getting hotter. It isn't just the atmosphere, but the lithosphere as well that is being affected. As more and more heat is trapped at this increasing rate, the lithosphere cannot completely vent the excess heat. This causes the rock cycle to operate at a higher temperature, and thus lithification doesn't have as long to occur. So, what does this mean? Rocks are melting sooner without staying as long in the metamorphic rock period. These three crises affecting the lithosphere have only arisen in the relative present and are happening quickly. If something is not done soon, it may cause the lithosphere to malfunction greatly. I'm Chad Hudson. I urge you to support the lithosphere. Donate to my National Fund for Lithosphere Protection today. I'm Chad Hudson, and this has been Crisis in the Lithosphere. Good night or good day.